So the next kit we're going to put up is the little lemon tree kit. Um, these little plants are just adorable. They blow my mind that they come and they have these lovely lemons on them. I mean, I appreciate they look more like limes at the moment, but they do turn yellow um, come sort of, they start to go yellow, I'd say in September, October. Um, it's just love, it's a lovely plant. You can have it indoors or outdoors. Um, definitely not outdoors from autumn. So first frost, make sure it's in because um, the frost will kill it. Um, so yes, in your kit you will have this gorgeous lemon tree, um, this much loved um, pot that is just one that I use all the time as you can see. Um, it's probably one of our most popular pots. Um, it's the 16 centimetre Simona with um, its lovely kind of rib detailing and then the matching saucer. Um, and then you will also have your gravel, your compost and your moss as well. So let's pop this gorgeous little thing up. So add in your gravel to the base of your pot. And then pop in, I'd say, good two good handfuls of the compost that's in your kit. And then you simply, I've given this a really good water, I've had it sat in a bowl of water overnight, and then, oh, look at that root system, amazing. And then you simply pop that in. Okay. Then gently kind of compress it down. And then by doing that, oh, by doing that, you can then simply add the compost on top. It's that simple. Okay, so that's all composted up. You can see some lovely new growth on this one already. And when the when the this plant flowers, the little white flowers, get your nose in there. They smell. I would say it's probably my favourite smell ever, ever. It's it's heavenly. So yeah, if when you get your little flowers on your plant, um, yes, yeah, so make sure you um, you know, give them a good sniff because they are dreamy. Okay, so adding in your three different types of moss, so your bun moss, your sphagnum moss, and your flat moss. You can take the root system off the back of the lemon, uh, the back of the lemon, the back of the bun moss if you want to, if it feels so a bit too chunky, you can simply tear it off like that. Okay. So that's it, that's all potted up. So in terms of looking after your little lemon tree, Lemons don't like to be watered sort of frequently. They prefer a one-off drenching where you know they are completely saturated and completely hydrated and then you leave them for maybe five days, depending on the weather, obviously. If, if the leaves are kind of starting to curl and it's looking a bit kind of sad, it's obviously needs watering, so give it another really good drench. But it's really crucial, and that's why I pushed the plant down to make sure, if I just take some moss out, make sure that there's sort of an inch, I'd say I've got here, between the top of the compost and the top of the, the pot. So the purpose for leaving that kind of inch, it, it creates a sort of trench. So when you water, you, you kind of drench it, you'll find that the water will go to the top and then it will go down. But what you need to kind of, uh, appreciate I suppose is if you if you put an inch of water it's not going to go all the way to the bottom it's not going to get there so you need to do that let it drain again let it drain until the, the uh, water comes out the bottom and you can see it in the saucer that way you know that that water has gone all the way to the root and the roots getting the, the moisture it needs uh, anything else then leave that water in your saucer for an hour or two and then tip out the excess away so it's not sat in that for a prolonged period of time. Sunlight is key for lemons as you can obviously imagine they're a Mediterranean plant. 
Um, so pop it somewhere sunny. So on a windowsill if you're keeping it indoors, um, you know, in a nice bright sunny room. If you have a spritz gun, um, you can buy them cheaply from Amazon or whatever. Um, they do like to be um, misted if you're keeping them indoors. They like humidity. So give it a mist whenever you kind of walk past. Just keep the gun nearby and just go quite a satisfying job. That will um, really, it will really like that. Um, and that's about it. You know, sunlight, a good drenching, allow the water to come all the way down, tip out the excess, um, keep an eye on the top level of layer of soil. If that feels dry, it might need a water, but I would say crucially, just ensuring it's watered thoroughly once, until it then needs another watering again, is much better than watering every day, just kind of, you know, a little bit. So um, to ensure that, give it a good drench, maybe sit it in a bowl of water for a couple of hours, you know that then it's gonna soak up all that um, moisture from below, so all the roots will get a nice um, sort of drink. Yeah, and then mist, somewhere sunny, and that's about it. It's not complicated, I promise. They're really easy to look after. Um, I won't promise that you'll get fruit this year because they are, they are young plants, but you, they will, more than likely have fruit when they arrive um, to you. Um, like this one here, this one's got three, four um, lemons on. It will definitely be a more of a kind of enjoyment just to watch it grow this year um, because it is still quite young. Um, and I would say that the lemons, even if they do go yellow, which they should do um, in the early autumn, I, I wouldn't say they'll be particularly um, delicious. But next year, you know, look after it next year, you might be good to go and they might be a featuring in your gin and tonic. Um, so yeah, just look after it and it will hopefully reward you with some beautiful lemons next autumn. Um, but that's about it. So that's your little lemon tree kit.